That's us in Edinburgh speaking to Colin Fox. Have you got Socialist Scotland, is it? Scottish Socialist Scottish Party, Scottish, yeah, that's Scottish, Scottish Socialist Party, there you are, £10 an hour living wage. Now, that's that's it. Uh, just to go into that a wee bit uh, in depth uh, on the Gorilla TV channel, um, what would happen to the businesses? Say, for instance, I had a start up business yep. and the state is trying to force me, and I've just started, maybe I have no money or a limited amount of cash to actually no. set up a business. What happens if I've got to fund £10 an hour to actually get the person? Is it better for that person not to have a job and me not to be able to afford the £10 an hour? Or is it better to, for that person to work in maybe bankrupt the com company because it's a start-up? Hey, well it's better for that person like it's better for every person to pay your own way. People want to make their own way in life, don't they? They want to pay their own way. If you don't get the national minimum wage just now, you still qualify for housing benefit, you still qualify for tax credits, you still qualify for free school meals. In other words, that wee business that you're talking about, Paying people slave wages means that the rest of us are going to pay out of our taxes that person's rent, feed their kids, pay their gas and electric bill. So what the government says is you need to be earning £10 an hour to pay your own way. Mm. It's only after you earn £10 an hour you can pay your own rent, but feed sure, your own kids, pay your own gas and electric sure, bill. Sure, I understand. But yeah. surely, surely for that company to start up, it's preferable to actually have that company start up and then increase over a period of time when they, they, they've actually got the opportunity to do it through increased profits etc uh -huh. um, and actually then employ the person rather than the person not have the job in the first place. Well it's no good for any company to be based on a business plan that means you're exploiting other people. Slave wages I'm not, I'm not is the basis. I'm not, I'm not no but that's what's happening. That's okay. an epidemic in Edinburgh. Okay. This is the second richest city in Britain. Mm -hmm. Second richest city in Britain. Mm -hmm. And the amount of people there are tens of thousands probably 40,000 folk in this city mm -hmm. who are earning less than £7.50 an hour. Uh -huh. £7.50 an hour is the statutory minimum wage. Mm -hmm. So I'm more interested in them mm -hmm. than other wee businesses. I used to be a chartered accountant. Oh really? And folk will say to me, oh I can't pay my staff £7.50 an hour. No. I can't pay, can pay my staff and run my business. Well you've no go to business. If your business is based on cheap labour, you've no go to business. Understand well, me, you've got to be able to pay people a living wage, uh -huh. otherwise I'm subsidising your employees because you're paying them buttons. That's what's happening with taxpayers. We've got to break that mentality. Instead of all these billionaires earning a fortune, last week the Scottish Socialist Party were protesting outside Apple. Right. Apple, round the corner, you right. take a picture of that in a second. Well, do. Richest company in the world. Uh -huh. Richest company in the world. And they don't even pay the wee laddies and lassies in their £10 an hour. Uh -huh. That can't be acceptable. That just can't be right, you know. And I was uh, I was speaking to the, the people down in uh, Manchester Council. Uh -huh. Manchester Council have erected a monument to, um, to Engels. Frederick Engels, Frederick, now you're talking. Well, so Frederick Engels was the first person to uh, publicly advocate genocide. He actually publicly advocated, it's on the internet, I've seen it. It's, oh, it's, 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 it's for a shite, you have to be careful no, no, you well, see well, the internet no, it's not, and all that. It's on a left wing well, thing. I don't know, that does not prove it. Well, no, but it's in a German paper. Engels, Engels was a socialist. Uh, he wrote the advocated communist manifesto. genocide of the Scots, the Basques, no, the Bretons. No, 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 no. Engels wrote a really good book, it's called The Conditions of the English Working Class. You've got to forgive him his mistake. Yeah. And he came to Edinburgh mm -hmm. and he wrote about the poverty about the Irish community out of which James Conley grew, right? Yeah. Engels was a socialist, okay, he came from a privileged background uh -huh. and all that. But he's he, a, he's the emancipation mills, of, No, no, his father owned the mills, uh -huh. he worked for his father. Hey, right. what can you say, he worked right. for your father, right? Mm -hmm. And, he's, and he, he diddled a lot of money out his dad's yeah. business to keep Marx's Marx family uh -huh. alive and uh -huh. that, right? So, but, are they not, are they, but surely Marx and Engels was the predecessor both to communism and to national socialism. No, 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 national, no, 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 that's but totally national, right, no. But national, national socialism is not today with communism. Don't let the words fool you. National socialism is right-wing politics. That's euthanasia. That's the genocide of Hitler. That's about outswitch and everything. But I saw, I saw, the right. but I saw the, the pictures of when uh, the National Social or Worker Party started to rise uh -huh. and it was based on the Marxist theory. The, the difference was between nationalism and internationalism rather than actually... No, no, no. H Hitler was a great believer in the 
international Bolshevik conspiracy, right? He that's hated right, the yeah. communists. Yeah, he wanted to destroy them. Yeah, I'm not seeing about the same. I'm not seeing about the same. Yeah, they're light years removed. I had a guy come to me the other day. They're just setting up mm -hmm. a stall at you. Mm -hmm. And he goes, oh, it's Scottish Socialist Party. Is that like National Socialism? <laughs> I went, no. No, it's not. Not like it at all. But I've seen the actual, around. like, when, the, when um, in, um, oh, what's his name? Gorbals was comparing, uh, Gorbals was comparing, Gorbals, uh, Gorbals, uh, <laughs> uh, 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 Gorbals was comparing the two, the two different uh, uh, ideologies between yeah, yeah. communism and national socialism. Yeah, yeah. He said they were they were comp uh, nearly identical. Oh, well, he's, he's an nutcase, went to Goebbels. Well, I'm not saying it was uh, clever. Goebbels had made But I mean, the, the communists murdered more people than the national socialists. No, no, the first people that Hitler killed were the communists. Aye, but I'm sort of talking about worldwide. I mean, no, sixty well, million we made. One thing at a time. Oh, okay, good. Oh, Goebbels got, and Hitler. Okay. The first people Hitler destroyed was the socialists and the communists. Why? Uh -huh. Because he was from the right. He was from the ultra right. I'm not saying it's. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that um, Hitler was not right of uh, of uh, co communism but he, I'm like saying no but I'm saying it's a, well um, well fascism fascism came from the Italian who was also believed in a collective yeah Mussolini uh, no Mussolini. I but it was it was um, oh what's his name it was an Italian uh, philosopher that uh, Mussolini based his actual theory on mm -hmm. and he again based his te teachings on Marx and Engels yeah but the, the whole philosophy of fascism this you know German supremacy Italian supremacy uh -huh. Spanish because Franco was a fascist Right, mm -hmm. Spanish Civil War mm -hmm. between fascism and communism, between the left and the right, between uh, the phalange uh, and the left. I, I, I'm not saying it's not between the left and right, but I'm yeah. saying it's between the left and right within the socialist block. No, 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 uh, no. because well, if no, you look the, at the left and right within the socialist block is social democracy, which is the Labour Party, the SNP, you know, uh, claim to be social democrats, uh -huh. but are they bourgeois uh -huh. nationalists? The right of the Labour movement and the socialist movement is the Labour Party. Mm -hmm. To the right but you can get right. Uh, you can get left wing nationalists. Oh, I dare say, no. uh, so the, the, so being a nationalist People does not. You can get green spaghetti, but just to make it right, does it? <laughs> left wing nationalism, you know, nationalism and socialism are different philosophies, uh -huh. isn't uh -huh. it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's quite interesting. So, what's the? How are we going to increase the growth rate in Scotland then? Because obviously, it's um, lower than. Uh, do you think the minimum wage is going to increase the? We're going the to unleash the potential of the mass majority of the population. And how do you do it? Buttons and do over and over repetitive tasks. So right? only by increasing, only by increasing, only in by increasing the the wage. Wages will you increase growth? Is that your saying? Not only, no, right. it's the only reason, the only method you can. Mm -hmm. There's many, many with methods. But you know, for example, in the thirties, you're talking about there. The Maynard Keynes' idea and Roosevelt mm -hmm. was he primed the pump uh -huh. that the public taxes were used to create infrastructure projects, uh -huh. steelworks, etc. And people growth came out the fact that folk that weren't working were employed uh -huh. because growth comes from the unpaid labour of working people. Sure. It's not that complicated. Sure, sure. I mean, obviously, um, growth uh, to have actually uh, proper um, salaries, but surely that um, by increasing profitability of a company, yeah, then it gives it. Where does a prop where does a company's profitability come from? But does it come from its workforce and its customer? Base? Oh, I know. I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm not. I don't think we're disagreeing in this. Yeah. Um, I, I, but I'm saying that if it, if it increase the profitability of the company, then increasing salaries would naturally come from well, an increase in profitability. Or what do you do? Your wages. What I know. Spend it. Yeah, spend it. Uh, 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 or so save it. Say, oh, I can afford to pay my staff and my wee coffee shop, mm. coffee shop, ten pound an hour. Mm. There's no bit of it. They also get ten pound an hour. They can buy more coffee in your coffee shop. I know, because I know just inflationary. No, it's no inflationary because the same argument was offered. To be fair to Tony Blair, and I'm no usually fair to Tony <laughs> Blair, when he introduced the national minimum wage, this was the same argument the employers gave it. Uh -huh. Oh, five pound an hour. Uh -huh. Jeez, inflation will go through the roof. Oh, uh -huh. well, that's the Germany in the thirties, a barrel load to go and get a breed and all that. Uh -huh. Never happened. Why did it not happen? Uh -huh. Because it primed the economy. Uh -huh. Inflation, now we've got a problem in this country with deflation. Mm -hmm. Inflation's at 9%. Uh -huh. You know, that's what they're talking in Switzerland. The banks, have, you go, people go to pay money to leave their money in the bank because yeah. the interest rates are at minus. Yeah, yeah. You don't have to worry about inflation. What you have to worry about underemployment. Mm -hmm. So now people that used to be working 35 hours, 40 hours like you and me, uh -huh. are working 16. How are you going to raise a family in 16 hours a week? Yeah. Even at 10 pounds an hour, you're not going to do it. Yeah, yeah. People need to be employed in full time. Yeah. 
went away, I'm in favour of 35 hour week for everybody. So just now, um, how's, uh, the, do you think Scottish socialism to me has regressed lately and the fact that not as many people are voting for it, it seems with Tommy and all that, uh, with Tommy you did. guys. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, well, to, well I'll, I'll, to be honest with you, I like Tommy Sheridan. I did once, uh, 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 well, I can understand. But no, socialism uh-huh. is as relevant today as it ever was. Well, no, I was going to ask you. Every day, half the kids in Glasgow uh-huh. living in poverty. Well Wait. done, SNP, uh-huh. that's magic. Uh-huh. No, that. The kids haven't got uh-huh. enough to eat, uh-huh. haven't to get proper shoes for the mm-hmm. winter, they're freezing cold in their house. Uh-huh. Rubbish at school because they're not getting help. Well, let me ask you, this is where I was going with this this point then. The the Scottish Libertarian Party has now risen in uh, Scotland for the first time, basically following the the beliefs of Adam Smith Uh and uh, a person who was Scottish, unlike uh, Marx and Engels. So, uh, the... the, the, I don't give a fuck. No, I'm really... After roads in this country are Scottish. (laughs) I'm not disagreeing with that. But uh, the, the... the libertarians are now rising and they want to increase growth through uh, increased business, uh-huh. freer, less government, yeah, more, yeah, yeah. less taxation. I have no time for it, I have no time for it, rubbish. <laughs> libertarian, uh, we're all free and equal to do what we want, right? No. I remember Tebbit and all them saying that people should be free to interfere with kids. We in the past, libertarian, oh, I should, I've got the money, I should be able to buy wee laddies, rent boys and the rest of it, that's the way it goes. Yeah. Look, you've got to fight for freedom, freedom, uh-huh. Work, you, working people. We've got uh-huh. no freedom. Uh-huh. I go to my bed at six in the morning, I go to my work, I get home at seven o'clock at night. Where's uh-huh. my freedom? Yeah. Where's my freedom for my landlord? Where's my freedom for my gaffer? Where's sure. my freedom for the police? Uh-huh. Where's my freedom? Uh-huh. You know, that, that, <laughs> you're uh-huh. that freedom my arse, uh-huh. as Joe Royal would say. <laughs> You know what I mean? Fantastic. Working people go to stand together. Socialist ideas are relevant today. We've not got any freedom. We've not yeah. got any democracy. Sure. We've got barely any rights. We can sure. knock the boot and folks say, oh, what can you do? Mm. What can cost is not. I dare not tell them to fuck off and yeah. pay me rubbish because yeah. I'll lose my job. You yeah, know? Yeah. Well, what kind of job is it to lose? Yeah, There's yeah. hunters like that, man, you know? People like, who stand up and fight for themselves. Okay, if I publish this, is that no, okay, my friend? Uh, hey, no, but that's I'll great. Stand by I really, no, 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 I really appreciate it, Mr. Fox. Thanks very much. I much appreciate it. Thank you, sir.